Now, here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Montana Ag Network. Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch News. Well, this week, Republicans and Democrats clashed over legislation that would give states a larger role in recovering endangered species at a hearing before the U.S. Senate's Environment and Public Works Committee. Now, the legislative hearing focused on new legislation introduced by Wyoming Senator John Barrasso, who, by the way, is also chairman of the Senate's EPW Committee, to reauthorize the Endangered Species Act for the very first time since 1992. Now, Wyoming Governor Mark Gordon was invited to testify, and I talked with Governor Gordon afterwards about why he's supporting the Endangered Species Act amendments of 2020. Thank you, Russell. Uh, I was back here. Uh, Senator Brasso entered the modernization uh, uh, amendments for the Endangered Species Act, they're really critical because they involve the states at an earlier level. They make sure that the feds have to notify the governors if they're going to do some kind of a listing, and they uh, make sure that there's funding that's available. Uh, they also work very hard to uh, make sure that uh, landowners' uh, rights are respected and they understand uh, that landowner um, cooperation is absolutely essential. It's been uh, over 30 years since uh, the bill has been amended. Um, the Endangered Species Act, I think we all know, is in need of repair and, and change. But not everyone agrees with the legislation. Jamie Rappaport Clark is president and CEO of Defenders of Wildlife and also testified that barring of judicial review for a decision to delist is hugely troublesome because it completely eliminates the ability to hold the federal government accountable for decisions they make. Stay with us. We'll have more egg news right after this.